No, let's speak from behind, yeah. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Anushka and I'm from India. Anushka. Um, yeah. Um, and how do you think like acting has impacted you as a person and like changed you? Uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It's it certainly uh, opened me up a lot more. When when I was, you know, probably your age, I was very shy. I was a very shy person. In fact, everyone who knew me and got to know that I'm, you know, going to act or become an actor or would be like, Amil, no way. <laughs> there's no way he can act. Or there's no way he can be, you know, an entertainer or an actor because he's so shy and he's so quiet. So there were a lot of things within me that I felt I could bring out, but anyone who met me never felt uh, confident about that aspect. Um, so, uh, what is the question again? I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of. Uh, huh. So, I think one of the things that the ways changed me is that it's it's really helped me open up a lot more. I was very shy. I still am on many levels, but it's really helped me open up as a person. It's helped me understand that I'm very flawed as a person. Uh, when I was very young, for, you know, for quite a while, up to, you know, in, into my twenties, I, I was a person who was very idealistic. And I was very clear about what is right and what is wrong and everything was black and white for me. But I think uh, doing so many characters made me realize that often it's not always black and white and there are a lot of grays in between and I should be less judgmental of people, including myself. I shouldn't be so judgmental about myself either. Uh, so these are the things that I think changed in me as a person. I, I started understanding the complexities of people more. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Um, My daughter has a question, sorry. Okay. Uh, what was your inspiration for Dangal? My inspiration for Dangal? I think uh, um, the, 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 you know, the real life people, Mahavir, Fogart and Gita and Bhagita, they were really my inspiration for the film. Yeah. I was actually pointing to him, but yeah. Hi, my name is Jeevan. I'm Hi, Jeevan. Hi. Hi uh, my, my question is, I just want to know that, because film is very powerful medium, correct? So I just want to check with you, with your films and your, your, your talk show especially. Now I'm wondering how much in your opinion that it's actually changed the, the social issues, especially in India. Like, because yeah. especially for, for Dangal, you have made uh, little girls uh, like dream big. Yes. Correct. So I'm wondering in your opinion, how much you think you have actually changed in that aspect? I, I think uh, uh, a good film, please have a seat. I think a good film can have a really strong impact uh, on, on people's minds. Uh, I remember watching so many films which have had a deep impact on me. Uh, so I think a lot of these films like Dangal for example or Dare Zameepa, uh, Three Idiots, these films have had a really strong impact on people and, and the show that I did Satyame Vijayate had a very deep impact and a very tangible real uh, changes we could see on ground as a result of the show uh, which, is, which was very very fulfilling and satisfying. And in fact, it is because of the strong impact that Satya Mevajayate had that Satya and me, the director of the show, Satya, he and I decided to actually move a step for, uh, further in the direction and we are now, uh, for the last two or three years, two and a half, three years, we are working on something uh, called Pani Foundation, which works in Maharashtra and we are trying to contribute to solving the, the drought situation in Maharashtra. So, so the entire team of Satya Mevajayate is working on that and that, that was born because we felt that what we are doing is having a deep impact. So now we want to stick with one topic and stay with it on ground and work on ground uh, to try and make a difference. Yeah. Okay. Wow, more hands are going up. Hi, I'm Aryan and Hi, uh, one question I have for you is I'm interested in filmmaking and what I want to ask you is, so when you're working with a director and you've worked with several talented directors, what exactly do you expect from them? What do you want from them? 
what do they what do they need to do for you to perform uh, succeed as a performer well i think for me uh, i what i look for in a director is uh, two or three things first i'll come to the easier part what i'm looking for a director is that he should be able to tell a story he should have the skills and the control over the tools of storytelling in in cinema and filmmaking and he should be capable uh, in using those tools to tell the story so that's one but more importantly and more deeply what i'm really looking for is that does the filmmaker have a story to tell and i'll tell you what i mean by that so let's imagine we are sitting in a party and we are chatting there's music playing there 15 20 30 people are chatting in the party and i tell you that you know tell me something interesting from your life so you'll obviously think of something and you know you'll ponder a bit and say yeah actually once this happened and you will tell us a story there'll be a certain emotion with which you tell that story <clears throat> now imagine a slightly different scenario same party is going on same music is playing and you walk into the party doorbell rings we open the door you walk in and you say guys you won't believe what happened to me right now stop the music listen to me guys listen to me. you have a story to tell now so the emotion with which you tell that story will be very different from me telling you tell us some story and then you think of something and you tell us so do you have a story to tell is there a story inside you which is bursting to come out so that's what i'm looking for in a director is he hungry is there a fire in his belly which is making him want to tell that story because if there is that then he'll make sure people listen and he'll make sure he or she will make sure that you get his story he'll he'll communicate it well uh, so that's a very key quality i'm looking for in a director yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hi hi um, hi i'm maria and hi. i'm british um The film industry is obviously a very tough one, and I just wanted to know if you have any advice for any of us who are thinking about it. Well, uh, I think to, uh, I think the film world is a wonderful world to be in, and it's a profession which really has a lot to offer. I've learned so much being in the film world. I was, you know, doing so many different kinds of films, uh, researching different topics, playing different characters has really helped me grow as a person. Uh, my only advice to young kids who want to be part of filmmaking and storytelling is you have to equip yourself and that's a constant process but to begin with when you're starting to enter uh what i would call is your foundation so you need to understand human psychology so hopefully if you can read books on psychology get a better understanding of human psychology sociology philosophy uh anthropology um history uh mythology so when you have a strong base in all of these things you will find that you're better equipped as a creative person to communicate to your audience so i would strongly recommend that you know if you're thinking of coming into this field you should really equip yourself learning and understanding these very basic things uh so basically i'm sending you back to school <laughs> but uh so i i i discovered that for me my formal education stopped in the 12th after the 12th grade after i completed the 12th grade but my education actually began because after that all that i have learned is through my own curiosity uh so i have read books on biology physics anthropology history uh mythology greek mythology understanding what how a human brain works and how myths you know get born and how they propagate all that is very important so all of this kind of gets absorbed into you and then when you're doing work it starts coming out and even you don't realize what you tap into when you're doing creative work so that input of this is very important for you to be be able to go give good output yeah okay um mr khan yeah we've got to go with one last question okay one last question we've got to whisk you away to another event so okay so you pick okay i'll pick this time i don't just, want to be just let you know head responsible for the <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. We had a deal just now. Okay. okay. They were like, could you get Mr. Khan to pick? You know, to pick uh, any one of us. I said, okay, sure. Okay. All right, so last one I will pick. Okay, okay. wow. <laughs> yeah, we go. Someone from... I don't think we've had anyone from the Singapore American School yet. That guy right at the end. Stand up. Uh, uh, I'm Ashan from India. And what would you be doing if you weren't in the film industry? Like in you know, it's very difficult for me to imagine that because from such a young age, I've always seen myself in this world. So, but I was also very heavily into sports before I got into films. I loved uh, tennis and football and uh, <laughs> badminton. Table. I, I played all sports. I was really into sports, and bulk of my time went in, in you know, on, on, the, on the playing field. Uh, in fact, that's what's really been a very big part of my development. I don't remember a thing of chemistry and stuff that I learned in school. I don't remember much. Uh, but what really built me was my... Uh, so in sports, you learn teamwork. You learn to work along with the team. You learn leadership qualities when you're the captain of the team. You learn how to deal with failure. When you lose, you learn how to deal with success. You learn how to be graceful in success. Uh, you learn uh, to work hard towards something that you're passionate about. Um, so, so many things that, sh that I've learned through sports has, have actually come of use to me in real life. You know? Uh, like, the Pythagoras theorem has never come of use to me in real life. <laughs> I've never used it in real life. But all the things that I've got from s sports have really been of use to me in real life. Yeah. So I might have been a sportsman to answer your question. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Thank American, you. for a truly insightful in conversation session today. Thank you. I think it's the perfect opportunity to take a wonderful selfie right now. Sure. So just turn around sure. over oh, here. Okay. Everyone, big smile. Yes. Plug in if you can. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. All right, thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, well, it was really fun talking to all of you. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. So good. Mr. American, everybody. Oh, true superstar. And don't forget, we're still live on Facebook. Secret Superstar opens worldwide, 19th of October.